So this question, question number seven. So this was the solution to this sum. Okay. And uh, we had to decide, I mean, as to which order should be accepted, right? I mean, whether you produce domestic market ten thousand units, home market or foreign market twenty thousand. Okay, but still out of the two, this is the least profit or uh, least loss one. Both are loss two thousand eight hundred and eighteen hundred. But still, you will go with acceptance of this order. Because you have been asked, right? Is it worthwhile to try to capture the foreign market? No. Because that is also loss making. Okay? So you can write here. It's not worthwhile. Similar sum, same sum, same as question number seven, but it has some extension to the question. Question number seven and eighteen are same. Okay. See the start part, exactly same equation. There is no change in the question except the uh, certain additions in the sum. Okay. This is changed. Export market selling prices 3.45 and in this sum it was 3.55. Okay, this is one change. Baki pura sum same. See material wages, variable over else, pura same. 15,000, 11,000, 6,000. See euros. Okay, so Jojo changes in the Bapari. Either selling price 3.55. Or the other selling price is the other selling price is your selling price is how much? 3.45. Okay. See here. There's the whole sum is same. Okay. Increase in fixed cost and everything is same. Fixed overheads increases by 10,000. Okay. And you have to pull ahead. Production up to 20,000 units does not change the fixed cost. However, production and selling beyond 20,000 will increase the fixed cost by 20%. Okay. And company decides to sell in domestic market as well as export market. It will have produced 30,000 units. So, this is the change. This. Okay. And also, something additional to this is that it is further given that to meet the export order, the company will have to spend an additional 0 0.40 per unit on packing and 20 paisa per unit on shipping. However, the export orders also carry the following incentives. There is a cash incentive and a duty drawback incentive of 40 paisa per unit. Okay. The company has option to sell 20,000 units only in export market and not to sell anything in the domestic market because of the expected loss. Produce and sell 30,000 units, 10,000 domestic and 20,000 export. Which option of the company should which option the company should select? Okay, so this is the additional part of the question. This when you check up that, huh? there's the whole sum the same. Okay, so let's continue. So this was the solution to question number seven. 
and similarly this is a solution to question number 18 okay same way we will do it okay start yahan tak to same hai right Home market, solid market, and thirty thousand the total. Okay, till here it is same. It's a part similar, right? So just note down this. Okay, so till here it was same. Now let us continue. Now here the selling price is three point four five. In question number seven, it was three point five five. Okay, so twenty thousand into three point four five. How much? Sixty nine thousand. So right here sixty nine thousand. Plus, what did they tell? That two new cost is there. Okay, कौन से वाले? Packing and shipping. Right? What is the amount? Thirty five and twenty five. These are the two new cost. So twenty thousand into point four is eight thousand, and twenty thousand into point one, sorry, point two is four thousand. Okay. Now 
of solvers. Now you will get your contribution. Okay. So ye wala to change nahi hoga. Ye to same rahega. 3.2 theta has got that is 0 0.5 47200 minus 15,000 minus 11,000 minus 6,000. Yeah, 5,200 divided by 10,000. Yeah, is 10.5. That's right. Okay, we'll check this one. 69,000 minus 50,000 minus 22,000 minus 12,000. Minus 8,000 minus 4,000. So my answer is negative 7. Contribution is negative. Divide by 20. 0 0.35 negative. Is it clear to you all? Next constant. Okay. Fixed cost is not going to change. That was eight thousand only. So eight cost. Okay. And here it will be eight thousand eight hundred. No, they said it's not changing yeah? up to 20,000 units. That's a difference in the earlier sum. Yeah, here it was this 10% rise and then 20% rise. But here it is not like this because here it is purely said uh, 18 question mark that production up to 20,000 units does not change the fixed cost. Okay. Your fixed cost is 8,000 units. So now come to profit. This would be Thousand two hundred minus eight thousand two thousand eight hundred negative. We have it now. Jaga fifteen thousand negative. Okay. So there is only such over. There is an incentive. Okay, but kis ke liye? For only the export market. So. Incentives add back over. Incentives ne kya kya hai? Cash incentive hai. Kitne ka? 40 paise. Then there is a duty drawback. Kitne ka? Say 40 paise. Okay? So twenty thousand sorry, 
20,000 units export market multiplied by 40 by 6. So 8,000. This will also be 8,000. Okay. Now profit will be how much? ये तो negative ही है, ये तो change नहीं होने वाला है, but यहाँ there will be a change, okay? It will become thousand. Eight thousand plus eight thousand how much? Sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand minus fifteen thousand is how much? Thousand. Is this clear to you? Is it clear to you? कम तो ना टोटल का तो ना थर्टी थाउजेंड के लिए भी वो लोग ने कैलकुलेट करने बोला है ना चलो वो भी करते हैं ये दोनों को ऐड करें मुझे टोटल मिल जाएगा थर्टी सेवेन टू हंड्रेड प्लस सिक्सटी नाइन थाउजेंड वन लैक सिक्स टू हंड्रेड ओके सीपीयू की मुझे जरूरत नहीं है मुझे सिर्फ टोटल देखना है नेट प्रॉफिट कितना है not required to calculate all this whatever is important I am only taking that ok contribution below so 5200 minus 7000 1800 negative I am just interested in the amount column ok fixed cost ka kya bola hai bolo me 20% increase over bada bolo so 8,000 per 20 percent increase. So 8,000 plus 20 percent. So 9,600. ये कितना हो जाएगा माइनस माइनस प्लस ओके माइनस माइनस प्लस सो प्लस एटीन हंड्रेड सो लेवेन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड नेगेटिव Then this duty drawback, we add it to it. Okay, so minus 16,000, 4,600 positive. Is this clear? Is it clear to everyone? Just acknowledge in the chat box. See, both the sums have been answered in exam, but see the twist in the sum. The start part is similar. The variation is with respect to selling price, which I told you here. So, all I sum here, this was 3.55, either 3.45. और दूसरा ये नया है। This is new addition in the sum. Obviously this is also new addition in the sum. Incentive. ठीक है? Done. तो ये कुछ option दिया है आपको। Let us solve the option. 
first option. क्या बोला है? To sell twenty thousand units in export market only. मतलब domestic नहीं करना. ये first option है. ठीक है? तो कुछ नहीं एक बनाएंगे हम लोग रफ कर छोटा सा कैलकुलेशन भी यहीं करेंगे सो दैट यू कैन सेव टाइम पर्टिकुलर Produce and sell it. If I assume for now, thank you. Okay. Now that three point four five for exports less variable cost. So variable cost का आपको total निकालना पड़ेगा. Okay. So total this this part. I will just go to the 1.5 plus 1.1 plus 0.6 plus 0.4 plus 0.2 3.8 Okay, so I will just add 3.8 Contribution less fixed cost and add those incentives. into 3.45 right here next 20,000 into 3.8 76,000 7,000 negative First was how much? Eight thousand. Okay. No change. No change in fixed cost. No change in fixed cost. Up to twenty thousand. So this will be eight thousand. And incentives kept up eight plus eight, sixteen thousand. Right? Eight thousand plus eight thousand. Seven. So I'm getting thousand positive. Okay, which I got here also. See, 
this one I'm missing. First option. This is actually very nice from the statement only other. See, this is the first option they have taken. Next camera, option B. Option B. Option B, they have said what? Yeah. Total 30. Should be uh, produce and sell thirty thousand units. So units produced and sold thirty thousand. Okay. So this answer be a hamare pas profit four thousand six hundred. Then. Yeah. I'm not repeating it again. Yeah. Yeah. 30,000 pin at profit with 4,600. Okay. So, what comment you will hear? Obviously, option B has the highest profit, right? Yeah. So, from the above, from the above, it is clear that option B is most profitable. So the company should produce thirty thousand units throughout ten thousand for domestic market and twenty thousand units for export that's it is the sum clear to everyone question is clear so the difference both the questions and their respective solutions So this is the whole preview of the sum from which you will understand what the sum may care here. Is the sum clear to everyone? So even if I don't, don't make a marginal cost sheet for option A, it's understood because upper answer here already for the market column is already there. Okay. So this answer is already here. The hang. So even if you yeah, don't make it, it's one and the same. But then you have to refer it for key. Like how I did for 4600, the answer was already up. So I did not make the question. Again. I just wrote from marginal question. So for option A also, you can do the same. Okay. okay. So even if you don't do 
this last step okay aur aap idhar hi answer ke niche comment likh sakte ho same comment from the above statement it is clear that option b is more profitable to the company so the company should produce 30000 unit that is 10000 for domestic market and 20000 for the export market am i clear is this clear to everyone so last a and b option step option a and b even if you don't do that step you can highlight it from the marginal for sure that 30000 units is high is comparatively with most profit yeah highest profit 